Syracuse Eye is an important site for a new colony. A glance at the map will show you why. If we are to expand the empire much beyond the shores of Italia, we must control these waters. Others have reached the same conclusion. We have been unable to reliably establish a permanent city of any size at Syracuse Eye. The challenge before you, and a serious challenge it is, is to found a new city and defend it against the enemies of Rome. Expect trouble from the Greeks. To make matters more interesting, shall we say, Syracuse Eye has precious little farmland. Although the climate is ideal for olives, you will probably have to commit much of your farming to wheat just to feed your people. Perhaps you can alleviate food shortages with imports? I don't know. I have not studied all the small details of this assignment. That is why I hire governors. I do hope that you can grow at least some olives. The Empire has a voracious appetite for oil. Knowing the difficulties in this assignment, I have set only modest goals for you to achieve. I trust you to overcome the obstacles and succeed at least as well as you did last time. Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome back to Caesar 3, the Augustus playthrough with modded gameplay elements and all of that. And we're doing forced walker cities on every map to learn and master and explore that technique to see what can be done. We're here on Strengthen the Empire, population 4000, prosperity 20, favor 20, culture 40, peace 25, relatively low goals except for maybe population a little bit higher. Let's go to the city. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and check out this map. Ah, yes, this map, this map with the little high ground here, which I, I do love building uh, on here. Um, now, if you're wondering about the music, I've got the high quality music installed. So this first song has a bit of an extra intro, which is really nice, I think. Now, this map, can be a little tricky if you don't set up enough exports early on. So looking at our exports, we can sell just one shield, one, one set of weapons, and we can sell some vegetables and some oil, all very low amounts. Importing of food... No, I don't think that's, that's viable. A little bit of meat, that's not going to go anywhere. Notably, there's no marble, so we can't build grand temples or monuments on this map. And there's just a little bit of farmland here. So let's start by clearing off this farmland. And notably, do see that there is a bit of farmland there. So you can actually have farms go a little bit further than you think. So I think it can go up to maybe there. Yeah. We can actually have farms up to there. And we're just gonna cut these trees down. Now, for the forced walkers, we do want to have um, this length of road sort of set up. I'm gonna clear this road a little bit first. Have some cleared off space here. That road will be continuing through there. We need a two gap and then the road to be there. So we're essentially using this section near the farmland for our forced walkers. So the first farm. So I want to have farms set up here. So I'm going one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So there's a farm right there. So I think, I think how I'm doing this is, yeah. This road needs to continue until there. There's going to be a, uh, there will be a road here, a granary here, and that's there. And then this road extends out like this, maintaining the two distance. We're going to have prefecture and Engineer's post there to cover these buildings. All right, so the way forced walkers work, if you want a demonstration, I have a two minute video explaining how it works. Essentially, it means walkers walk infinitely, effectively. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna have a road doing this and we're gonna have the road continue down this way. I'm gonna set this up 
first, uh, let's just zigzag a road along this cliff until it goes up to that. So now this road is gonna snake around to this high ground in a way that I deem interesting, <laughs> right? To use up some space, but also be different. Can I just sort of have it loop around weirdly? Do this, come back around. Can I have it loop around like that? Yeah, I could. Loop it around like that, loop it up this way. I'm gonna shift that intersection over. You want natural cities, you use forced walkers, as far as I can tell. And the road snakes through all of this, down to here, up this way, and back down this way. Okay, that's gonna be our city. <laughs> I know it looks a little silly, but I'm gonna roadblock there, roadblock there. Yeah, that's great. I actually like the way that looks. Uh, then we need people to move in. So let's go ahead and clear some space for slightly organized houses. And let's remember gods, shall we? Let's remember gods. Let's not forget those. Alright, let's throw down... Some houses there, some houses there, houses along here, houses along there. That's a good enough start, I guess. Okay. Sheep, move out of the way. Alright, now. Uh, to make sure nothing burns down, what we can do is use a mix of roadblocks and engineer's posts. So we can have a prefecture here, a prefecture here, and a prefecture there. And then we do engineer's posts. I keep forgetting to use hotkeys, but okay. And then that's roadblock there, that's roadblocked there. So this is forced to cover this area, this is forced to cover this area, this is forced to cover this area, right? All the other walkers are just going to be walking right through everything. Now, for water, getting water up to the high ground is always a little bit of a challenge. But we should be able to do this. Click and drag a reservoir over there. Gets to like there. Is that really the furthest it can go? I think so. Can also squeeze a fountain there, there, there. We'll need another reservoir on this side, about here, but I will get to that in a bit. Okay, now as these people move in, let's just... Ah, uh, we should have enough people. Let's set up our exports. Now, oil and weapons. Oil's gonna be down this way. Uh, weapons can use... Uh, but there's actually some rocks here. So if I set up the, the weapons industry here, that actually makes a lot of sense. So let's clear off some of these trees. Right. And then we'll have... Roadblock... Firehouse? Firehouse. Engineer's post? Engineer's post. Let's slow the game down so we actually get this set up somewhat properly. Before I forget, let me throw down temples. Ceres. Neptune. Mercury. Mars. Venus. Remember the gods. Remember the gods. <laughs> yes. Um, so that's covering those two areas. I need to set up raw materials, iron mine. So let's go for... Ah, I can just have one, two, three. Road extend 
down this way. If I... I should set up a separate thing, right? So I should have a roadblock there. Firehouse Engineer's Post. Set a dock right there. Road straight down to the dock. Warehouse. Yeah, it can be right up against that. This is just going to be holding weapons. Not allowed for market ladies. Accepting weapons, workshops, weapons. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're already killing sheep. Okay, so that's going to set up the weapons industry. Let's ensure we prioritize water services, prefectures, engineering. Let's drop our wages by a little bit. And let's just temporarily drop taxes to zero. Okay, we're currently short a hundred employees. Not so great. But I should go ahead and start setting this stuff up. Uh, let's throw down the granary, which I want here. Wheat is gonna go... Five wheat farms going up this way. And that is watched over like this to cover that. And then we have another road going down this way. That's road blocked there. So that's just going to secure that area. Then I want to go farms, olives. One, two, three. How am I doing this? But there's a farm there. I can put the firehouse there. This is a little awkward. For now, I'm just going to do that. I'll probably move it later. And then we have some workshops, oil. One, two, three, four. Set up a warehouse. Can I get this? Oh, that's a slightly awkward position. Can I fit it there? I can actually fit it there. I just have to move this over by one. Make sure that's clear there. Firehouse there. Warehouse right here. Setting this to allowing market ladies but not that. And accepting 16 oil. And that should start bringing oil in, and then I can set a warehouse here dedicated to getting oil. Market ladies not allowed. Get 16 oil. Okay, so that sets up our exports. I just need people to work all of this stuff. Hmm. Yeah, people keep saying, oh, you can build on pause, but I'm just so used to not being able to build on pause, so I just slow the game down. <laughs> uh, but this this should be pretty good. This should be pretty good. Pretty efficient setup, I think. Um, we shot 270 employees. That's not so great. I'll just throw down the market. 
right now. Does that function? I think that functions. I think the road does not need to go beyond that. Set this to just taking wheat when it's available. I think everything is covered. Yeah. So essentially I want a reservoir here. And then I'll need a reservoir here. And that will cover all the high grounds. But we're almost broke now. I know we get more money if we go into debt. So I think I should just go straight into debt. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. It's not debt. It's not debt. It's rescue funds. So we get that in. And then we can start throwing down fountains. To cover all of that. And then we send an aqueduct around this side. Nice and organized. Allowing us to fountain up. This side. Okay. That should get us... Did I not put a fountain here? Things being covered properly by the prefectures. But this side is not quite reaching there, I think. But it should be okay. I think it's just a sort of a long path they're taking. Okay, we short 182 employees. But we should be okay. Now I just need to make sure exports really do keep going. So let's speed the game along. Population milestone. Uh, I have the first row of temples. I probably want a second row. So I'm going to throw a series temple here. I guess it doesn't have to be close. And then another row of temples along here. Because these aren't so important. Okay. So this just guarantees there is one temple that's on the destination walker. So the way they work is they walk along this southern road and they go all the way around and then up this way. Yes. So like, where is the market lady? There she goes, there she goes. I've never seen so many buildings needing more workers. So she's gonna start distributing goods uh, when she walks around the mountain. She'll literally be coming around the mountain. <laughs> uh. The citizens are gonna be insanely good at cardio, yeah. Uh, I think it does call for having a second market having a city this big. Did I accidentally disable the building? X is supposed to be there. Okay. So two markets just to keep the wheat going. Oil should start coming in. Weapons are slowly coming in. Once some weapons and oil come in, we'll start our exports. We're just slowly slaughtering fields of sheep. Here comes the market lady. We're short 83 employees. Okay, so we should get quite a quite a lot of employees from all this. I'll just throw down a 
forum. Just to start taxing. Okay. And I've never considered building the iron mines here on this map before. I always build it over here. One time I built it over on this side. But this is just... These, these are mountains right here. It, it, it just works fine. It just works fine. It, it doesn't have to be that far. Makes sense being close to the farmland. There we go. Food being distributed. That brings in a bunch more people. So I can now throw down... Uh, let's throw down an extra olive farm. So that we can start... Oh, right. I forgot about disease. We have an emote for this on Twitch. <laughs> it's, uh, they, they all just burned. Okay, okay. Is this our accidental destination walker engineer's post? This city would be a lot better if there were enough workers. Yeah. For some reason there's a bug. This engineer's post here, for some reason is a forced walker. He walks all the way around over to this side and then he despawns. Bobby said, thank you so much. All right, all right. The plagued victims have been burned. Let's destroy the remnants of their homes and then build upon them as if nothing ever happened. No one lived there prior. Okay, weapons are coming in. Let's go ahead and open up that trade route. 500. By the way, nice feature of Augustus. You can click this button right here and set your trade. Let's start making some money. We've got four units of weapons to go. Uh, olive oil and oil is slowly coming in. We're actually starting to have some unemployment. A thousand citizens. Okay. Music changes. I should just spam more temples. Do the engineer's posts reach that far? I think they do. Oh, right, because this engineer's post is oddly broken. There he goes. Okay. I'll have a backup engineer on this side. Okay, they're all covered. Okay, people moving in. Uh, so at this point, I can spam up some wheat farms. Prepare to connect up to this side. Let's clear these trees for convenience. This road will connect there and we'll roadblock that. So that's covered nicely there. This road should shift like that. Okay, so we get extra wheat farms down to deal with unemployment. Taxes, we raise them back up to like 8%. Uh, right, I wanted to... Firehouse Engineer's Post. I want to shift to this road. Over. So that I could have a warehouse right here. Not allowed for anyone. And it's just accepting spare olives. For requests. Okay, weapons, olive oil. That's gonna be good. I will also want a warehouse here. Not allowed for anyone. This is going to be storing vegetables.
Okay. And we can have a warehouse here. Set to getting vegetables. Can I afford to open this trade route? Yes, let's open this trade route. I don't have to come here. Sell olive oil. They won't go to here because we turned off traders from accessing this area. Okay, first feeding of people going out. We managed unemployment. Really, it dipped down. Okay, but we've got both exports set up. So I should be fine. I should be fine. Let's also export vegetables when available. Pa, indeed. But I have... I have export set up. Yeah, we have sold seven weapons. It's okay. Where's the trade ship? There they come. I can't wait to do some trading here. I love a good deal. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We're making some good use of this farmland. This should be a good number of wheat farms. Good number of vegetable farms to sort out. I did not disable vegetables from going into here. I should stop that. Buy some stuff. There we go. And then this one. I can't wait to do some trading here. I love a good deal. Buying oil. No, uh, okay. Whew. Fixed. Money. Great. Now with this money, I want to set up military. Uh, so I'm going to throw down the barracks right here. I probably want a military academy straight away. So let's just have that stuck right here. I think I prefer this look. Okay. Next trade, I'm going to start building forts. It's, it's a new year. So all trades have reset. Great. Weapons and oil coming in. Nice, nice, nice. This first trade is I can't wait oil. to do some trading here. I love a good deal. Are we producing enough oil? One, two, three, four. I feel like we'll, we'll need more, but it's okay. How are the gods feeling? Charmed. Another successful voyage. The profit from this place makes the seasickness bearable. <laughs> okay, we don't need more people moving in. Where are market ladies? Commerce, food stocks. So here's the two market ladies. So this one is almost out of food. So here comes the market lady. So they sort of cover slightly different times. You see that? Okay, it's fine. Good. Always remember, there's two different market ladies. You see, they're gathering food from here, and then there's the distributing one here. The gathering one does also distribute, but they can gather while the distributing market lady is off doing her stuff. Vegetables coming on over. Great. Weapon I trade? Yes. I to do some trading here. I love a good... 10 weapons to go out. We have some stored in the barracks. Tower, fort. Priority is tower, right. Some new options from Augustus. Barracks can prioritize towers or forts. 11 weapons. Buy it all. Buy it all. Yes, thank you. First fort, I'm gonna put right here. Because it'll just defend against anything that shows up here. Which I think someone does. Oh, right. We need to set up... ...that. I have too many vegetable farms. If I... ...swap... ...an olive farm to here. Swap these two oil workshops to here. I can then set up a supply post right here. 
Stormy seas. Okay, supply post is to serve food to forts. Let's throw down legionnaires right there. So trade is suspended for a little while. I can't wait to do some trading here. I love a good deal. But we've already sold a lot. And this guy's gonna buy more oil. So I think I can afford to just throw down the other legionnaire fort, which I want down this side. Two legionnaire forts start training. We have a military academy. Unemployment is at 1%. Some exports going out. Great. And we're good to go. So with this money in the bank, we can start using our weapons for training soldiers. Does it train one fort first, then the second fort? Or does it alternate? I can't... I think it's one first. Hmm. Buy one on each side to invasion points. I can't actually remember the invasion points, but just in case. Like, Caesar's legions comes from here. I'm pretty sure no invasions come from there. This looks like invasion point. This looks like invasion point. This looks like invasion point. So, in case, you know. The only use for horsemen in this game is that they're fast. And on big maps, you might have to rush somewhere to hold them off while the legionnaires get in position. Okay. They're at the at the gates. At the gates. They're coming from Corinthus. Or Athene. Corinthus? Is this Corinth attacking us? Historically? Just making sure. Correct difficulty. Is trade resumed? Not yet. Uh, how much is stuff? I can throw down a library and I can throw down a theater to get those houses evolved. You do not need an actor's colony, just so you guys know. Actor's colony not required. I think we'll be able to max out our soldiers before any invasion shows up. Trade has resumed, great, and we're staying out of debt. Favor 33, already what we need. tax income yeah by the way tax collector it's different for some reason they spawn on the northern side and only once every three or four times they're forced but they they are forced interesting question the, is the senate forced normally is the senate forced normally because if it is that makes it better than a forum Does an invasion come from here? It doesn't, right? Oh, there's more farmland right there. Look at that. So we're currently selling all of our oil. But I do need to produce more. If possible. Yeah, let's produce more. That's plenty of farmland. Caesar's being a bit dramatic. Well, for 4,000 population, keep in mind. We're only at 1,500. We need to more than double our population. We're evolving some things. Uh, yeah, that fort's not getting anyone yet. This fort is almost done. They are well fed. Morale strong. By the way, uh, they are academy trained. Yes. In the new system, this supply post, how does it have vegetables? Um, the more types of food, as far as I understand correctly, the more types of food, the stronger your soldiers. Yeah, greatly increases morale, so it makes them stronger. Should be space for one more farm to the east towards the mountains too, if you clear the trees behind the farms. Oh, like here. That's true. There is actually space for a farm there. 
can I fit? Ah, yes, I can. But then the roads will be a little bit weird. It's okay. I don't. I don't think I need it right now. Okay. I think I'm about to get five. There we go. Oh, seven. Dispatch. Money's doing okay. So what I'll do now is scatter some plazas to get these houses evolved. Oh, that doesn't have water. Price rise of oil. Good. That benefits us. There we go. All small casas. Prosperity needs to be 20, so we don't actually have to evolve much. Trade. I can't wait to do some trading here. I love a good deal. It is early in the year. That's weapons. Okay. Money is doing great. Money is doing great. I think you need more plazas around that side. Good. Emperor's gratitude. So looking at our stats of required things over here. Need a bit more culture. How are the gods feeling? Happy. For the target population, we're definitely going to need more things. More temples. A blessing from Mars! We actually got one. We actually got one. Yeah, how, how does the market lady get food? They're thinking with portals. It's... That's how that works. Starting to get soldiers on this side. We should be good to go. With a blessing from Mars... It shouldn't be any problem whatsoever. So essentially, I'm just going to be evolving these houses. We have quite a lot of unemployment. That's going to be a problem. People love me. Uh, let me set up. Can I do this? If I set an amphitheater here, it should be covered by the prefecture. And then I set a gladiator school here. This works, right? You gotta start seeing the patterns and paths in your mind. But I think that destination walks our... Um... Our gladiators. Right? There he goes. There's so much unemployment here. I wish we could practice on some of them. Uh, what else can I just throw? Bathhouses? Right, bathhouses... Let's get a reservoir relatively close. Okay. Uh, barbers. We can throw those down at the roadblocks. Yes, that works. And there. Give everyone barbers. Nice haircut. That's cheating. Forced walkers is considered cheating. So this guy's just walking around here, but that's fine. I simply can't perform well without more food. Food? Enemies of Rome. Couldn't the amphitheater be by the barracks instead? It could. Yeah. 2,000 people. I don't know if we can deal with this. Square for kill the sheep. This is just to try and save our Mars blessing. Uh, 
Ah, fine. We couldn't kill them fast enough. Plazas. Okay. Uh, we have some money. Let's let's decorate. Let's decorate. What what kind of tree do we want up here? Date trees? No, that's kind of weird. Um, maybe I just do the, the the old pine tree, or is that a bit too standard? Oak trees. Elm trees. You know, I like the fir trees. I like how these sort of look. It just sort of has a nice feel. Replace these wild trees with proper cultivated trees. Are we low on food? We might be low on food. But that looks great, doesn't it? No, we're not low on food. Food's actually fine. Yeah, food's fine. Food's fine. Ah. How does houses get food? Hmm. Essentially, we use a forced walker technique, which forces walkers to turn their own home buildings into a destination. Turning all walkers into destination walkers, like a actor going from an actor colony to a theater using this broken road technique it's essentially a loop but the loop is broken on one end because of a weird quirk of how things spawn and return they want to spawn on the southern side and return to the northern side um, and then there's the getting market ladies who then teleport the food to the distributing market ladies <laughs> So essentially, you see all these people walking along this road here. They're all destination walkers. Even the bath unemployment is bath so worker. high, it's making the whole city unhappy. So if I check, and is it health, baths? Yeah. So she's coming from here, walking all the way around the mountain, and then covering everything. And we do that for everything. But this road might be a little bit too long. Can, can she get to this? At some point, you need to double up the buildings because the distance is just so far they run out of access. But I think oh, she just about makes it. Oh, I see. Some of these are actually... This road is slightly too long. Can I make it shorter? Maybe if I cut through... Here. We could shave off some distance. And then, like, properly wrap the road around a bit. Does this reduce the number of tiles? That might make it short enough. Does that not save anything? Yeah, mathematically, I don't think that saves anything. <laughs> I saved two tiles. That might actually be enough. Because she was like that close. Like, if I just cut through here... Bellwood, thank you so much. Initiated 10 Zacolytes, 10 gift subs. Bellwood, thank you so, so much. 
That is so kind of you. Yeah, this I think is more effective. That should make things a little bit shorter. I think. Hopefully. Maybe. Alright, we're halfway to our target population. Uh, money is still coming in. Um, is that a... It's full. Why are there grey vegetables in the warehouse? What's a grey vegetable? I can also put the baths here. I cannot put it here because force walkers would not work. It has to be here. Radish? Do we just have some radishes there? They expired? <laughs> what an odd visual glitch. Oh, look at that. We got so much money. So now we can just focus on... Um, before I forget, let's spam up more temples. Okay, make sure the gods are happy before I do anything and forget. Uh, people are extremely pleased with me. Okay, good. Now, how do I... Uh, what am I going to do? Right, this unemployment, I need to do pottery. Which we can just set up right here. So I want the pottery to go into here. Getting 16 pottery. Yes. Lizzie Duck sent. Thank you so much. Uh, let's go clay pit. One, two, three. Four. Workshop. Pottery. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice clean loop. I want the road to go out like that. I need to roadblock this to stop that prefecture from spawning there. I need firehouse engineer's post. Roadblock that. Warehouse here. That looks weird. Warehouse on the other side. No traders, no markets. You are accepting pottery. Okay, that's gonna set up a pottery industry. Can we get furniture on this? I can import wood, right? I can import furniture and wood. In preparation. In preparation. So, pottery will come in. Uh, we can then just start providing pottery. Because prosperity is what it needs to be. Culture just needs a few extra things. Peace will be soon enough. So we basically just need to double our population. In terms of invasions, I think full full forts of all of this should be good. But just in case, I'll throw down another one. Like between the two. For reinforcements. Another fort. Just in case. So this one is the response team that can go to any direction. Oh, I think this might actually be a thing, isn't it? Um, can I do that? I 
I think an invasion comes from this side. Decoration. Also, with extra money. This, this is what I wanted to do at these entrances. Can do that. Yes. <laughs> Just because I want to. That just gives a little bit of decoration to the to the staircases, doesn't it? QRF, quick reaction force. Yeah, though they're legionnaires, so not that quick. Oh, they, they have to walk all the way around there. Um, right. Let's create some road gaps to provide access. Okay, they're walking all the way around to get to their fault. Okay. Um, is there anything else? Oh, right. These houses don't have schools. Oh, we actually took care of a lot of the unemployment with this pottery. So pottery is now going on down this way. I guess I could just start spamming houses if I really wanted to just boost population. But let's give them pottery. Let's give them pottery. Are they actually running out of food? Do I need a third market? I might need a third market. Okay. Increased trading of weapons. Perfect. 25 units. Great. So income continues to rise. Weapons. Well, that fort is now fleshed out good. Oh. Is there a map editor for Caesar 3? Yes, you can make your own stuff, however you like. Some entertainment, but not enough. That means they have access to everything, but because like you see theater and amphitheater. It's fine. It's just the overall rating is not high enough, so I have to start spamming theaters. It's an odd mechanic. And then they evolve. Why are these all devolved? No basic educational facilities. Well, I guess I am going to have to spam schools. What happened to my library? I mean, I moved it, but... Oh, I deleted it when he was still doing his walk. I see. Here he comes again. Because this, this road network is like... So on the edge. You know. <laughs> the shirt looks sleek. Thanks. The red comes out nice. This one's on Teespring. Okay, so we're evolving all of these houses. Culture is now far beyond what we need. 72, really? Wow. Just spam some theaters and stuff. Uh, peace, population, so we need to double our population. Do I want to bother providing furniture? I don't know. Really expensive to keep plazaing all this up. I'll slowly do it. Supply of pottery is still... It's doing okay. Can we keep up on this food? I'm gonna move... Olive oil, olive oil, wheat, wheat. Wheat, wheat. Olives, olives. Wheat. Let's make sure we keep up on the food supply. So I just added in three more wheat farms. That should be pretty good. Yeah, 
here, just waiting on more pottery. So I, I want to make sure everything is plazaed up, up here. Think I can afford it? There we go. All plazaed. Okay. Now you know why Romans were happy, they have plazas on their every step. Well, plaza just means square, doesn't it? <laughs> it, just mean, it just means there's like a little place in the middle of the city. Oh no, no, square is piazza, sorry. Plaza, plaza means, yeah, this stuff. I was thinking piazza. It's been a long time since I was in Italy. So we have three market ladies going around now. Oh, two, three sheep survived. That herd. Food stocks. Let me check the paths. So there's a market lady. There's a market lady. There's a market lady. They're nicely spread out. That's good. I really like Caesar 3. Yeah. It's a good game. Especially with Augustus. The cinematic doesn't play when you're on a filter. <laughs> Another invasion from where? It is there. Just in case, I'm gonna bring you guys over. Ready for ah! Ah! Ready for ah! Ah! Just in case. Length from the back. Yeah, we're very powerful. Which impressions game is the best for a new player? Zeus is the definitely the easiest. Zeus is definitely the easiest. It also has the only tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pottery supply looks good. Population 2,200. Um, does it say how much housing I have? Available capacity 22. Okay, not nearly enough. <laughs> Okay. Um, 45 unemployment. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to be spamming some houses. I think pretty much everywhere is covered by water. Let's just start crowding in more houses. Should bring in a good amount. <laughs> there. Okay. Good. The fir trees continue. Stormy seas, money is okay, so we're fine. Uh, trees, fur.
Five oil. Help yourself. Okay, so that should bring our population up significantly once they all move in. It's going to create a lot of unemployment. So I'm going to start just throwing down furniture workshops along like that. Wait, no. Those two aren't covered. You know, I'll just cover it. Okay. And I can throw down a warehouse right here. I've spent too much money, but that's okay. That will be four timber. I forgot trading had stopped. It's December. So we're maxing those sales. We're not quite maxing weapon sales. I think I need to boost up weapons. Sixteen furniture. Sixteen. Eight. I'm not sure if we can support that. Should be okay. Eight hundred pottery goes a long way, doesn't it? Still 12% unemployment, huh? I know, I know. How's our favor? 30? Okay, it's still okay. Once trading resumes, we'll make all our money back. Uh, since we are in debt, let's just throw down another iron mine and another couple weapons workshops. How's there a prefect along this road? Where is this prefect from? What? Forts count as roads? Is that, is that a bug? That's, that's strange. 3,000 people. Just another thousand people and we win. With our surplus prosperity, I could technically do a... Uh... No, we're out of debt. Great. Uh, I could te technically do a tent dump, but doing a tent dump using forced walkers is seems a bit cheap. Let's just throw down more... No, I shouldn't be throwing down more decorations. We don't have a lot of money. Let's just throw a weapons workshop here. Okay. Whoops. Favor is still 35. It's okay. I can't wait to do some trading here. I love a good deal. Okay. Okay, money's coming back in, trade has resumed, great, buy some weapons, buy some oil, thank you. Another successful voyage. The profit from this place makes the seasickness bearable, <laughs> Okay, so, uh, why aren't all this needs more food? Free market ladies, surely they get food. Huh. utilize this farmland here. Let's move all the vegetable farms over this side. those with wheat farms. Let's replace that with a wheat farm because I think we have 
Surplus olives. Increased trading of olive oil. Great. Let's make sure food keeps going. Can fit one more olive farm there, so I can replace this and make this a wheat farm. Okay, now I should also set oil to export when over 8. That should keep the food supplies going. Mood's dropping. People are indifferent. Let's drop taxes. 5%. Let's move this series temple over to here so I can put down another market. Uh, wrong market. This market is going to be dedicated to... Just an extra round of wheat. How did this one... Yeah, I think I need to have this one dedicated to just wheat as well. So the two in the middle... Actually, that doesn't make sense. The two closest to the granary are set to dedicated wheat. These two are set to wheat and pottery. Pottery is easier to maintain. So these two closest to the granary can restock the fastest. That should, with a fourth market and two dedicated just to wheat, we should be able to keep the food supply going. With money coming in, we should import timber. Import, I don't know, we can buy 25, right? Six. <clears throat> okay, okay. People are indifferent. Indifferent is fine. We just need another 800 people. We stabilize our housing. And it should be okay. We can squeeze in a few more houses, I guess. Like there. And there. Each one of these holds 76. Like here. And here. No pottery, really. Can I fit a warehouse here? No, that rock is in the way. I should have planned for three tiles on this side. By the way, Warehouses and granaries can't be on the northern side. They have to be on the southern side. Why is there still so much pottery in here? Is that eight? Oh, it's because it's spread out. I see. Oh no, everything devolved because of entertainment. Um, amphitheaters. Uh, we actually need a bit of a culture dump because of overall ratings. It's too efficient. Just spam theaters, I think. Theater, theater. Theater. Theater, theater. Everything re-evolved. Great. Let's 
set this to accepting eight. I know that's rather low, but we're struggling to feed everyone, huh? We just don't have enough food. 4,000 people is quite a lot. Do I have an actor colony for the amphitheater? Did I not put down an actor colony? I think I never put down an actor colony. I don't think I need one. Pottery, really? How are they running out of pottery? One, two, three, four. Four markets. Of all things to run out, pottery? Like, two of the markets have pottery. How can I make this work? I need 500 more people. these does need to expose this one they need to get pottery because if they don't have pottery then it, it's really not stabilizing some furniture's coming in We have 3,500 people. Does it show... Available capacity is 500. So I just need to stabilize this and we're actually good to go. Let's just fill up any gaps with gardens. Just because it looks a little nicer. So I just need to stabilize this. Once it's st so I don't need to provide furniture. I could, but I don't need to. But maybe if I provide furniture. Maybe if I provide furniture, it will just help. Like just go one round with furniture. It'll help push up the population. It's crowded though, right? But it looks nice! It looks nice! Wouldn't you live there? It's nice! Right? <laughs> Looking at the road system. It's just a long winding snaky thing, but... Looks cool, right? Okay, let's... Throw out some furniture. Evolve some of these houses up to medium insula, which houses more people. I guess it's okay if things are just kind of not stable, right? If things are not stable, it's okay. So if I set everything to just buying furniture and oil. They do still prioritize food. Yeah, just buy everything. Just buy everything. Let's see what happens. They don't have to be stable. You can have varying types of houses. 
Let's see what happens. All four markets are set to buying all four resources. So some of these should have oil going out. During this walk back home, when they're, once they're past the houses, they should start restocking. Population is going up. So we're about to win. 31% unemployment. People are annoyed with me. Let's drop taxes to zero. Let's pay eight over Rome. That should make them happy. Because we don't need the money. Okay. There is some oil in one of the markets. This is not the most efficient setup, by the way. This is, this is a bit silly, but that's kind of what we do on this channel. We do things a bit silly in these city building games. Oh no, I've, I've gone and put weird garden roads, which is like creating weird pathways. Is anything gonna burn down? Where's my prefectures? Where is the prefecture for this area? Let's just throw down some extra ones, because I don't know where my prefectures are. I actually can't tell. Oh, this one was walking the wrong way. Right, that's why it started to get a bit unstable. But we're about to win, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> the houses are randomly devolving, but... Actually, that's a good point. Doesn't have access to a ba No, that's probably just wrong. Because it ran out of pottery. 68 visitors. 76. Is this small casa supposed to have 68? Is it that much? Hey, we got a large insula! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, I've, I've done some weird garden thing here. That's what's messing things up. Okay. We need three more people, and then we win. Two more, one more, three more. Two more, six more. Four more, six more. No, they're moving out. <laughs> A blessing from Mercury. Bless your industries. I mean, we have a full granary, we just can't distribute it fast enough. Let's have you just on food. And you as well. <clears throat> actually, what are they running out of? They're running out of pottery. Food is actually okay. Food's okay, pottery is the problem. realize pottery is actually the problem I don't want to use tents I don't want to use tents but if I just squeeze in like one more house here that will solve the problem okay we got to fight off one more invasion I was literally one person away from victory we we're at 3999 We might win during this invasion. Just in case. Get over here. Because I put down that house there. The houses are just randomly evolved into large, medium, small, insulas, and casas. We're seven away from winning. Charge into them. Just go fight. We won. 
Accept promotion. Governor, that was a delicate performance. Convincing the Greeks to relinquish their designs on Syracuse opens the whole Mediterranean to Rome's plans. And after that impressive performance, you will play a major part in them. All right, we finished the mission. That was actually kind of interesting. Building on the high ground, not the most efficient way to do it. Super unstable evolutions of housing which made it look more natural but also i wish i could get it more stable that length of road going all the way around that was pretty much the max length for a forced walker loop because it was like a few tiles too long then i shortened it a little bit that that's the longest it can be maybe it would have been better if i instead of having all the houses crammed together they were scattered along the road so there's like a little bit here a little bit here a little bit there then some on top because then that gives the markets a little bit of a breather between the sections to restock right to restock and i think that would have solved the problem having all the houses clumped together on top of the hill was putting a lot of strain in that short stretch and they couldn't keep up with the restocking so I think I got to be careful about that in the future. But we made it work. We made it work. There we go. Victory. And that's going to be good. Thank you all so much for joining. If you'd like to support the channel, please do check out the Patreon. Patreon.com slash GamerZack. Direct support means we, we, we run fewer ads on the channel. And it does go a long, long way to keeping the lights on. A single dollar a month. More than five to ten times covers anything you could give with ad revenue so if you have ad blocker as well a dollar a month on patreon more than makes up for it so thank you so much for all the support or just checking out the page you can also check out the merch store buy this heart t-shirt which i designed myself um and a bunch of other stuff Join us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at GameZack on all of those. I'm active on Twitter. You can follow me there or drop by and say hi on the Discord, discord.gg slash GameZack. If you're watching on YouTube, click the buttons on the screen right now for so much more content. But that's going to be it for now. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>